So here's a recommendation I got. I'm aware that a lot of you guys are not into the whole diesel thing all, as much as some others are. So um, I was talking yesterday about putting the sump on that Dodge. I had some questions on exactly what a sump was. So I figured we'd go through here and um, show you an unboxing of one of our sumps and kind of what it does and what the purpose of a sump is. Um, so first thing we've got out of the back here is going to be a our billet backing plate and I'll show you what that does here in just a second. Um, then we have the actual uh, sump itself. Let's get that opened up here. Um, we have them done with our logo put on them that way if you ever uh, want to do it yourself you've still got the See how good y'all can see that the um, the feed and return clearly marked there. It's got our our logo in it, but it's a nice billet piece here. Um, comes with a good heavy duty O ring that's going to seal us off in our on our tank. Um, also comes with our return straw tube, whatever you want to call it, um, and that's going to screw in inside of that, screw in right here. So. And of course, you got your pack of fittings and bolts and such to hold together, but um, purpose of a sump is so on a lot of trucks, um, especially with the, uh, the Cummins platform, um, what you have is uh, these companies that build the lift pumps, when you put aftermarket lift pumps on, they want you to put in draw straws, which suck fuel from the top of the tank. Well, I mean, whether you either don't want to take the tank off or, you know, a lot of times if the draw straws are not put in exactly right, uh, you have the problem with, so we'll say this right here is our draw straw and the desk here is the bottom of the tank. Well. If you don't, if you just, if you, somebody cuts it off wrong when they're installing it and you've got that high above the tank, well, then you add fuel to the bottom of that tank and it stretches the bottom of that tank back out, then you may be, you know, an inch or so off the bottom of your tank. And so when you're, you know, quarter tank of fuel, you're going to run out of fuel. So, um, plus again, you've got to drop the tank down and cut holes in the top of your tank and all that jazz. And it just makes it a lot easier. So what we do is we drain the fuel out of the tank. Um, and we take our three inch hole saw, um, which is going to sit in right here and cut the hole, cut the hole and clean all the tank out real good. Uh, then we'll install our return tube. I'm going to take this old ring off. Uh, and you can see where it says return. It goes, your fitting goes in here. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the fuel that the sump or that the fuel pump is not using to be returned back into the tank. Um, it's going to kind of get it up here out of the way instead of trying to aerate it in this area here. Um, it comes with this backing plate. So this here is actually going to go physically inside of the tank. Um, stick it in there. It's going to sit in here like that right there. And so the tank is going to be, I'll show you with this O-ring here, the tank is going to be where the O-ring is at. And so it's going to kind of sandwich this sandwich the tank in between the two billet pieces. Uh, and then it comes with our bolts here and the bolts torque and they tighten this right here down. Um, gives us a good leak free seal um, with this biting O-ring here. Um, and like I said, what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow you to have plenty of uh, fuel flow and make sure that the, the expensive lift pump that you put on your truck is not gonna run out of fuel. Um, and like I said, you don't have to worry about doing the quarter tank issue with your fuel run out of, or truck run out of fuel at a quarter of a tank or anything like that. So um, there's one of our sumps and uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.